Hey guys, John, this is very important. Somebody was trying to communicate that, uh, or something, that one of the Supreme Court judges is involved in trying to murder me. And that Supreme Court judge was possibly involved in stealing sperm. He was possibly one of the people that kidnapped me from California. And somebody tried to communicate that he was possibly involved in the murder of my mother. And the times that they had shot at me, these government people. Now, in reference to that information, the news media does have legal right to go over to the Supreme Court and ask if anybody had stolen any of my sperm, any of them had been involved in blocking me from any benefits that I was supposed to have received, or if any of the Supreme Court judges had endangered me by blocking me from money, or if they tried to starve me to death by blocking me from money, or if they tried to call me crazy or slandered my character, or if they ever tried to call my parents crazy, or if they ever tried to make up any financial excuse saying like, oh, your mother and father's estates was a lot of money. They don't know if you know how to handle big money like that. If they tried to say something like that, they get prosecuted no matter what. I was born as the real Richie Rich. I was born with uh, a lot of money, and my parents gave me a lot of money. So in reference to, uh, in reference to me being born as a super rich child, you know, Anybody blocking me for money, slandering my character, saying, oh, they thought that money was too big for you, is what they try to say in reference to me. You know, they come from a different background. Those people come from a poorer background than me. And they're trying to block me from my monies, and they need to get prosecuted, whoever is involved. I'm not going to tolerate nothing. The laws of Elliot Ness say in reference to anybody contesting my ownership or my wealth or value or these people trying to downgrade me, they must get prosecuted. That's what it says. And, you know, these people, you see all kinds of other people, millionaires and billionaires living their life with no problems at all. But then these people holding me hostage, depriving me of my money depriving me of my trust funds. And they even communicated that Supreme Court was involved in uh, holding me hostage, blocking me from the benefits that I was supposed to have received in reference to uh, the types of injuries these people have tried to cause and the types of injuries that I have had and the lawsuit monies I was supposed to have received. And they, they communicated something like uh, the Supreme Court judge had one of the stolen children that he was living with one of the stolen children and his daughter or something and uh, they were living off of monies or they were trying to steal monies from me or my mother and father's estates or they were trying to steal insurance monies and court case monies that I was supposed to have received so I'm not sure you have to look up that information or that information has to be published in the media uh, that's what somebody tried to communicate and reference to any Supreme Court judge slandering my intellect if that court judge is involved in MK Ultra programs or uh, zapping me in the face or the head or any of that shit, they get prosecuted. And in reference to uh, the benefit offices, if they had listened to any person in government to block me from any of my benefits that I was supposed to have received, or if they listened to anybody that had blocked me from my mother and father's estates, as if they had conspired with those individuals. I am the only child of my mother and father. Nobody in the world would ever have any status or position to ever block me from my monies or my mother and father's estates. There is no legal way. These people had kidnapped me and harassed me and terrorized me and abused me, trying to make me have to bitch and complain about their crimes of them terrorizing my life. And then they tried to call somebody uh, crazy. Those people need to show up in court. They just snaggle two on me just now. That's another attempt of murder. You know, my mother and father spent money for me to go to the dentist growing up. And the fact that your people are trying to steal the monies that my parents had gave to me. And you've damaged my teeth and face. And you tried to steal my penis. And you stole sperm and blood. And you tried to steal diamonds from my body. The fact that you are trying to steal value of my mother and father's estates. Which I am value of my mother and father's estates. The fact that you have damaged my face. Damaged my teeth. And then you're trying to steal... The estates of my parents? You know, that money's at my mother and father's estates and revenues of my parents 
and my revenues as a celebrity in Hollywood and other corporate acknowledgements, and then you're you're damaging my face and teeth. You're devaluing, you're trying to devalue my mother and father's estates. Because money from my mother and father's revenues paid for my dentistry when I was growing up. And revenues of, you know, dentist visits and stuff like that. Plus, the my dentist used to visit the production sets. So, in reference to you devaluing me, you have to get arrested. I'm not playing nobody's tricks, man. I'm the only child of my mother and father and... These people have tried to gang up on me. I'm the only one left of my mother and father. You know, I'm the only child of my mother and father. So, you know, in reference to these people picking on me, bullying me, trying to steal from me, those people in their big families of politics or government, those people need to get prosecuted for trying to steal my wealth and family history and accomplishments. And they must get prosecuted for blocking me from my benefits and then trying to enslave me and then torturing me with satellites everywhere I go. My father got murdered from satellite. And then my father was frozen. These government people seem to think they're fucking funny by using satellites because they think they can just call anybody crazy like they don't know shit about it. But the Treasury knows about it. I know about it. A lot of people know about it. So your activity of trying to manipulate people and slandering my character with your fucking satellite activities of abuse. And the activity of you stealing my fucking money and holding me hostage and claiming you were investigating somebody. That you were torturing and burning with satellites and mutilating their mouth and teeth and face. And putting markings on their bodies claiming you didn't have any fucking clue about a goddamn thing. When you're the goddamn people in government that are doing it. I have a life to live. I'm the child of my mother and father, and I'm supposed to be at my mother and father's mansions, and your goddamn government people are blocking me. So you need to show up in court and explain your goddamn self. Because I'm the goddamn child of my mother and father, and I'm the owner of my mother and father's estates. Maybe you should have got a different career before you got into government. Maybe you should have had a different career before you got into courts. Because you're jealous of other people's wealth. You're jealous of people's land. Obviously, you're not very competent to be in a position of the courts. And you're definitely not very ethical, which means your crimes of unethical activities is treason in America. I don't know if the cops plan on going over to the benefit office or if they've talked to the benefit office for why I haven't received any of the benefits from the injuries or the abuses these people have done. But somebody needs to do that. You know, the activity of factual law, factual violations, factual abuses, and factual endangerment. It's very serious. And my parents got murdered, and these government people was involved, all the people that are blocking me from my mother and father's estates. They tried to call me crazy. I've never done nothing crazy. They made up accusations, and they have to get sued for all their fucking accusations. The real protocol of my identity is in the media. The Supreme Court fucking knows it. And they probably know which person in the Supreme Court is conspiring against me. And he must get charged and prosecuted. And Supreme Court, you know, in reference to a hostage situation, you know I was supposed to have received money. I have not received a fucking penny from anywhere. Nothing showed up in the postal mail. And that's uh, violations of procedure. So obviously uh, the Treasury or the news media or Congress or somebody needs to question the Supreme Court asking them which people are blocking the postal mail. Which people are stealing my benefits that I was supposed to have received and the insurance that I was supposed to have received. And which people are conspiring with business people that are trying to steal my identity and my family history of wealth. Those people need to get prosecuted for their crimes. And I come from old wealth bloodline history of wealth 100% bloodline I'm the only child of my mother and father forever and I'm the only owner of the estates of my parents forever and my grandparents